So now we know a little bit more about Elixir, but let us try and understand what do we mean by functional programming. In simple terms, it simply means that our entire program is composed of different functions. So just imagine that this f of x is a kind of a function. So let me highlight the background. So this the green thing. So this is a very simple function. Now this function, it gets an input. Suppose that input is an x. Now this function is going to transform that data from x and that data would be transformed to something called as y. So this is what your function is going to do. Your function will always accept some kind of an argument. It will transform that data and it will always give you back some kind of a data. Now this may look very simple, but it's not so simple. There are a lot of things that go behind creating your pure functions. So let us try and understand what makes functional programming so unique. The first thing is obviously we don't have any classes or objects inside functional programming. The next one is all of the data type is immutable. So it's just like working with constants throughout your program. Now you must be wondering why do we need immutable data types or constants? The answer is since the data is not mutable, that means the state remains the same. And if the state remains the same, that means that data can be copied and it can be distributed much more easily. And since this data can be distributed, that means we can create immensely scalable systems by using function programming. Now this brings me to the next point. And I think that this point is going to shock a couple of us. And that means we don't have any for loops. Now since the data is immutable, that's why we don't have for loops. Just try and imagine your typical for loop. Uh, suppose you have your variable of i equal to 0, i which is less than length and i plus plus. Now what's happening is for each iteration, your variable of i is increasing. That means the data is constantly mutating. But we can't have that because we have immutable data types. You must be thinking then what's the point? How can we have iterations in Elixir? But functional programming and Elixir has a much better way of doing loops and that is by using recursion. And I'm going to talk more about recursion right in the next video.